Right, just arrived at Oaksley House. This is the rehabilitation centre but where they help jockeys, injured jockeys, get back on the road to health. So let's go inside. It's the IJF. Yeah. yeah. See more business. Yeah, yeah. The stone was laid by Lord Oaksley. OBE. Yeah, Leicester Piggott, famous colours. Trev, how you doing? Great. Good man. Good man. Good man. Good man. Good man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Luke Harvey, the big oh, man. Hello, Luke. Hi, Luke. You look, look who we've just bumped into. Live, Luke Harvey. Luke, <laughs> how you doing? Fortunately, right. third beat me the next time out by 15 yeah. and a half yeah. lengths. So that was good. How are you getting on with you? Is all right? Yeah, really well. It's going well. Oh. Yeah, they're running well, aren't they? Really well. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Oaksley House. We're down here in the IJF Centre, rehabilitation for jockeys. Here with George Baker. George, how's things? I'm all good, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm still. I'm here plenty, doing loads of rehab, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. It's been an emotional time for you recently, but you sound very positive and you're looking very well. Yeah, well, I put a bit of weight on. I feel better, oh, and um, <laughs> you need to. Yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, so I've just got to take the positives out of the situation. Yeah, so. yeah. I know you were saying um, when the accident originally happened, you don't remember much what happened in the original five weeks. No. So, which helped um, you. Yeah, it's it definitely a, it's a big thing because um, I, I'm, I'm sort of, my family can see the bad stuff, but I, was, I can't remember any of it. Which is, yeah. It's a good thing, really, because it does make you, I'm um, being very positive through the whole sort of, I call it the process. Sort of right, thing. okay. Yeah. What's your kind of, like, you're in this early stage of rehabilitation now, how much physio are you doing and how much training are you doing to get your balance back and get the kind of your and receptors firing again? Well, the thing um, is, I have to um, be sensible because I still struggle with fatigue quite a bit, um, and that's just from the accident. It's not, not because I'm unwell or anything, it's just my body's still yeah. repairing. And um, is so I can't be gun in the gym, so I'm doing lots of... Um, sort of lots of balance work and just building it up every day, doing more and more and, yeah. and just, just do everything nice and gradually. Really. A bit like a racehorse in training from a yeah. two-year-old trying to get in the Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, yeah. You've just got to take your time sort of thing. Absolutely. And we were talking about a horse that uh, George rode last year, Harbour Law, yeah. St. Ledger. That was a great day for you. Yeah, well... Um, Idaho, yeah. stepping up on the race. I've got to say, um, Idaho's sort of misfortune was yeah. my game at the, on the day, but it was, yeah. a great, it was a great day. and. Um, um, one on for sure. Absolutely. And talking about your weight back when you were riding, what was the lowest weight you were riding at? Um, so I could do nine stone at a push with plenty of notice. And you're about five foot ten. Yeah. Same as me. So yeah. nine stone, thirteen stone. No idea how he does that. And what's your weight these days, George? So um, when I was in hospital when it first happened, I went down to eight. Just I was just over eight and a half stone. Yeah. So um, I wasn't feeling great at the time. I'm back up to about nine and a half stone now, so okay. back to my normal sort of weight really. Yeah. And your nutrition on a day-to-day -day basis, has it changed much, much from when you were riding as compared to now? Um, I'm still pretty healthy, um, with what, but I've just eaten a bit more. Yeah, you're enjoying life. Yeah, exactly. And the finer things. It's, it's um, one of the, it's, it's a good thing you've got, to, you've, I always think when you're trying to get better and, and, and you're in rehab sort of from an injury, you've got to give yourself the best chance of getting better. So I'm just being yeah. true to myself and, bit, and putting good stuff in. Sort of Absolutely, I mean, what he's been through and the positive outlook that he has on the whole situation is phenomenal. And I was just saying to George myself, um, I was born with a degenerative disorder in my leg and I've been in a wheelchair, I've been on crutches, I've, I've lost the use of my leg for a year of my life. So I kind of understand in a sense what you're going through yourself to get the balance back and how your hips are moving and. It really is a long, tedious process, but uh, your mindset is going to be key, and you seem to have the right positive attitude, which is brilliant. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah well, it's a, as, you, as you know there yourself. Are hard days, obviously. Yeah, exactly, so, of course. You've just got to remain positive, try and remain try. positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, it's great to see you looking so well, Thank and uh, who knows, we might see you in the saddle one day. We won't rule it out. No, maybe. Life's a funny, funny nice. thing, isn't it? Well, it'd be nice. That, that's, a, yeah. that's the main aim, but we'll see yeah. what happens. Good man, well done. Tough. Thanks. Cheers.